lovely to meet you. I'm Max. Hey, hello, Max. Now, I'll be honest, I've been told by the organisers to come and meet you because they think that we've got a lot in common. So what's your background? Uh, is that to do with height? Probably, we're, yeah. we're both vertically challenged. <laughs> I think it's because we clearly both have good taste in jackets. Yes. But also, uh, are you a car designer? Yes, I, I've, I've been in the automotive and uh, aerospace industry for uh, nearly 30 years. Right. So I started at uh, Royal Royce and Bentley back in 1989. I've got a confession, I worked for Rover, so not quite the same. I think you've outdone me there, but go on. Uh, they've got one thing in common, they're both British. Right, yes, yeah. British design, good. <laughs> And, uh, and then uh, I left for a bit and um, worked for Lotus Cars, worked on the VX220. Wow. Yeah, um, and then uh, came back to Rolls-Royce and Bentley. So yeah. what is this we're looking at? This is a scale model? This is a third scale model. Right. Um, the full, scale, uh, full size model is uh, uh, 3.8 meters in diameter with a 10 square meters of uh, um, floor space, but usable space is about 12 square meters inside. Wow. And, um, and you can use it for anything. Okay. But principally, you know, we're here at the glamping show. It's not really about glamping or about anything other than I wanted to challenge the, um, the construction industry about why on earth are they not designing like we design in uh, aerospace and automotive. This is a, an aircraft on stilts because all the principles of all of the engineering that's gone on for tens of um, years in the uh, aerospace industry is all integrated into this building okay. so it's user-centered design a lot of the glamping pods we've seen at the show are kind of shepherd huts or bell tents something that's not necessarily designed to be lived in yeah. and inhabited in yeah. and then they've had to kind of work around that whereas yes. you've flipped that design process on its head and it's all yeah. about the, the individual and the user yes yeah i mean you know for this you know it's it's for me my drive is all about um looking at things upside down because everybody says that plastics are bad you shouldn't be using this you shouldn't be using that but when i uh, actually looked into the industry uh, everybody says i've got eco this but when i look at the uh, how they've made it and they've assembled it in a in a in a factory and they use a great big low loader and then a crane at the other end so There's they've a lot lost of energy all that. consumption elsewhere. Yeah. So this design here was conceived from the point of view that I wanted something that lasts. You know, so it's got a space frame aluminium chassis in here, and it's got a um, you know so injection molded plastics uh, to make the structure. It's got over 200 millimeters of insulation all the way around it. So I mean that's building regs kind of yeah. stuff. You know, I hadn't realised that I had actually exceeded the building regulations fivefold as a result. <laughs> of uh, not knowing about them. I like you know. that. My naivety and ambition just resulted in me building regs times five. Yeah. So where did the inspiration come from? Was it just purely your history as an automotive designer and engineer? Or was it nature because of the word conquer? What got you to this point? Um, I'd say two or three things. I always loved spheres, you know, as a kid. <laughs> so it was something to do with spherical shapes. Um, I think a product designer would come out and say, I've always loved spheres. Yeah. So I actually built a spherical treehouse for the kids with them, with my eight-year-old son with a jigsaw cutting all the parts. So the yeah. very first conquer was, was actually a, tree, a, a conquer, tree. a real conquer in a tree. We've had probably about 60 uh, inquiries. Uh, and I think about two of them are really serious. Right, and hopefully yeah. we'll be back next year and have loads of these hanging from a big oak tree from the yeah. centre of the glamping show. Yeah. So good to meet you, Jake. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for finding me.